Hello everyone and welcome back to Viral Banda. So guys, in my hands there is Realme 3 Pro with the most beautiful UI ever, which is called Descendant OS. So guys, in my last video I've shown you the full GSI review and installation of Havoc OS 3.0 GSI. So this GSI is also has to be installed the same way. So guys, you can install Descendant OS the same way as I have installed the uh, Havoc OS 3.0 GSI. You can watch the video. The link is in the description. So that was the boot animation and the logo of Descendant OS. Now we are on the home screen of Descendant OS. Guys, first of all, let me give you the overview of full UI of this GSI so guys this is descendant OS this is lookalike of uh, one UI from Samsung if you can relate you can see this is just complete lookalike of the one UI by Samsung it is having a beautiful rounded UI and with rounded icons and there are a lot of customization in this GSI not a lot of but uh, there is a limited uh, amount of customization with this GSI this is currently running on Android 9 with 1 August 2019 security patch guys I know I'm a little bit late in making this video but a recent end is something I always wanted to make video on but I didn't know that there was a recent end OS GSI available in the market so this is decent end OS so guys now let us start by moving to the settings in settings there is option for display in display there is a nightlight option we can enable it and yes it is working nightlight is working we can turn it on turn it off anytime now go back and adaptive brightness is also working as you can see I have enabled it and brightness changed automatically now let me put it back to the normal let's go back now let's check other option like uh, wallpaper so guys there is no wallpaper app installed in this one now let's go back and check some other features like display cutout settings so guys in display cutout settings we can uh, disable the notch we can hide the notch and we can make it immersive or we can set it back to the normal now let's go back and check some other features like colors we can change the color settings from here from boosted standard and adaptive or natural so we can change the color settings we can change the font size by enlarging the text or minimizing the text we can also change the uh, smallest width or dpi of the screen and we can uh, set the screen saver also as ambient display is already working so guys uh, this is how it looks like the screen saver let's go back and check uh, ambient display so guys ambient display is working in this one but always on ambient display was not working i have flashed a magic module to enable the always on ambient display okay so let me show you what module we have to install so guys uh, go go to home screen and magisk and then modules so as you can see always on display enabler is uh, installed here i will put a link in the description so you can also enable the always on display so as you can see it is working here always on display is working so guys next option is dark theme so yes in this room we can also enable a dark theme system wide dark theme we can enable it we can put it on always on or we can set it on adaptive mode like uh, whatever wallpaper is applied dark or light it will change the theme according to it so yes uh, dark mode is working we can also change the accent colors from here like uh, let me change it to the red okay so it is red now as you can see the status bar icons and the brightness slider is also turned to red yes icons turn to red also yes accent color working we can change too many of these there are so many options for the colors and guys we can also change the system icon or status bar icon from here right now you can see it is rounded now let me change it to the um, lemon so let's check if it is changed or not so yes the icons have changed i think it's not visible to you right now so let me change the theme to white again and now you can see it is lemon icons we can change it from many of these and we can also change the ui customization from descendant to rounded to square there are three or four options in ui customization sorry for the camera and audio quality guys but uh, this is all i have now guys let's look for some other options so guys uh, there is an option called utility in utility there are some other customization like uh, qs style rows and column so we can change the rows and column size from here from qs row and columns and we can also enable the network monitor on the status bar and change the icon pack for recent panels so guys in buttons and gestures you will see an option for thumb ui this is a feature of descendant os you will not find this feature in any other room or gsi so this is a feature of descendant os this will make your uh, room look like one ui completely so this is what it looks like we can disable it enable it anytime and we can uh, use custom gestures here like swipe up gestures enable navigation bar disable navigation bar swipe up gestures are a bit complicated so i'm not going to use them so we can um, turn it back to the three buttons navigation bar and we can enable the multi-touch gestures from here we can swap the volume buttons for orientation and we can also uh, enable the playback control from volume buttons and we can um, disable the shortcut to prevent the ringer we can enable the status bar quick cooldown from here 
and there are a lot of uh, gesture and customization jump to camera by double clicking or double pressing the power button to launch the camera and we can enable the long press for power button to turn on the torch and turn off the torch swipe up on home button gesture also available here so we can turn our three button navigation bar into two button navigation bar and we can use this swipe up gesture to open recent application or change between the application and we can enable full gesture also but the most compact way is the three button um, navigation bar so turn it back to it now guys it's a time for testing so we will test the features like hotspot bluetooth and wi-fi by moving to the network and internet so guys uh, data is already working as you can see on the status bar the data is working but there is no sign of volty so i guess there is no volty guys volty is not working in this one wi-fi and hotspot work zender sharing works i have tried so but there is no volty guys uh, we cannot uh, flash the volty patch because it does not work i have already tested it but bluetooth is also working here bluetooth is working bluetooth chair is working and bluetooth audio is also working so let me show you so first let me connect to my bluetooth so pair a new device and uh, okay i have previously paired with my boat rockers so guys we are connected to boat rockers as you can see on the status bar there is a bluetooth icon with battery bar for my bluetooth device so now let me play some music now have a look So guys that was the proof that audio is working from bluetooth so audio output is working via bluetooth so guys in connectivity options there is only one thing that doesn't work and that is volty and there is no fix for that so let me show you if we can make a call through a geo sim which is volty so let me dial our customer care number and i'm dialing it from geo and as you can see call ended that means the call is not connecting the volty is not working now i'm dialing it through the idea sim and it is working let's move to security and location so guys here we can enable the screen lock by password by pin or pattern but there is no fingerprint option available and in smart lock there is an option for trusted face so yes you can enable the face lock and the face lock doesn't work directly like you cannot unlock your device directly using face lock you have to swipe up to unlock but through a magis module actually through an exposed module we can uh, unlock the device as soon as the phone recognizes our face so let me show you what module is it first install the ad exposed using magis and after that you can install this module which is called ifu instant face unlock for exposed i will put a link in the description for ifu now guys let us talk about the battery backup of this gsi so guys as you can see i have used my phone only for 2 hour and 52 minutes and the battery is down from 100 to 33 percent because i have played pubg and call of duty for about two and a half hours let me show you what i have used here so you can see pubg two hour one minute and call of duty 17 minute so about two and a half hour of gameplay and that too with 60 frames per second so yes battery drainage was expected but i think this is a bit more bit more battery usage in this gsi so you can enable quick setting types like uh, directly enable the dark mode from the quick settings and that is also an option for screen recorder which does not record the internal sound but yes it records the screen on 720p so that was the overall review for um, Descendant OS GSI so you can download and install it through the same way as I've installed the HavaQuest 3.0 GSI the link is in the description for HavaQuest installation guys I'm a bit confused about the language of my videos should I make my videos in Hindi or English some of my subscribers want my videos in Hindi and some wants in English so I posted a poll on my YouTube community please um, vote on the poll and please choose your favorite language so I will make videos on that only so thank you guys please subscribe to my channel